Hi guys, Kamal Jit Mac here today. In this video, I'm going to explain a lot of things about Charlotte instead of marketing. But before we move on to this video, I want you guys to do one thing: subscribe the channel Kamal Jit Mac. Kamal Jit Mac is a YouTube channel which educates students in commerce-related areas, accounting, economics, and business studies, national, Cambridge, and Edexcel curriculum. And also, I provide a lot of career guidance for students who are looking a career pathway. Now, before we move on to the topic, I just wanted to remind you one particular thing. CIM is a big qualification which we are going to speak. So this video is going to be a bit lengthy than the usual videos which I do in YouTube. So I want you guys to watch fully if you wanted to get a proper understanding about this particular qualification. I'm not going to run and explain everything very soon as possible. I'm going to take my time, and I have divided this particular video into six contents, and you can see the chapters in the description uh, side. So these six contents are the main part of this particular qualification. So if you have planned to invest money in this particular quali qualification, you need to know how much you're going to spend, how much uh, value it is going to give. end of this video if you really love this video you need to share to your friends and also do not forget to subscribe my channel because that keeps me motivated to upload more videos in future starting with the first part which i'm going to speak is about cim cim is a qualification known as chartered institute of marketing so why people needs to learn cim the reason chartered institute of marketing gives you a chartered career pathway the most recognized qualification Uh, today when it comes to marketing so if you wanted to be a chartered marketer then of course this is the best qualification which will give you a chance to get recruited very soon as possible comparably for the people who have completed their degrees so moving on to the topic how many countries uh, are actually considering cim a, a good pay uh, to be honest there are 118 countries who has recognized this particular qualification all those are very uh, valuable countries and who are well settled and developed countries so which means if you study cim you are more recognized in uk canada australia what are the big countries i'm not speaking about the smallest countries when i say smallest countries i'm meaning the countries which uh living standard is very uh, less compared to the other developed countries now uh in cim there are four levels you all need to know uh starting with the level 3 level 4 level 6 and level 7 they don't have a level 5 so in level 3 these this is the foundation level they say and level 4 they say that certificate level and level 6 uh, they considered as a diploma level and level 7 is a known as post graduate level now you all need to know that chartered institute of marketing might take some time maybe one and a half years or two years of time to complete but the level of uh, you know the value of the qualification is really great to be honest uh, if you complete your post graduate uh which is the last level of uh, cim you all most equivalent to a level of masters so that is the level of recognition they are giving in uk in all the countries which i specifically said now moving on to the point uh, i'm going to explain you cim level uh, qualifications uh, contents like for example if i said that there are four levels and how they are divided into particular uh, pathways now in uh, foundation level i explain you Uh, particularly that foundation is divided into two uh, the first uh, first part we said as foundation certificate in professional marketing the second uh, path where you can choose is foundation certificate in professional digital marketing so out of these two you can choose one of them and you can get your certificate the second thing is the uh, level 4 is also divided into two certificate in professional marketing and certificate in professional digital marketing so now you might have this question what's the difference between professional marketing and digital marketing right so professional marketing is where you are trying to deal with customers directly and you are trying to sell out the product or maybe to create a customer relationship directly with your customer but a digital marketing is most probably onto the systems and they work on with the systems and develop products uh, and like for example at traffic to sales like this uh they their main intention is to create sales and you know uh, generate more profit to the business so you can choose which pathway you need to take from the foundation level but now again i want to stop here uh, at foundation certificate level you can choose foundation level or certificate level when you start if you have completed your advanced level i would rec uh, recommend you to start with the certificate level which is level 4 so it's not mandatory to start with level 3 if you have started with o levels after o levels if you are starting you should can start with level 4 the entry requirements let me come to this after this particular 
explanation and level 6 is divided into three particular uh, points diploma diploma in professional marketing diploma in professional digital marketing and then diploma in sustainable marketing so out of this three you can choose two uh, I mean you can choose one and you can work on so either you can take professional marketing or professional digital marketing or sustainable bar marketing so in Sri Lanka we don't have sustainable marketing most of the institute will not provide uh, sustainable marketing if you are in uh, other countries who are watching this video then of course you can choose uh, out of this three one particular pathway and then moving on to the next part we have advanced uh, which is the advanced level I mean the final level of uh, CIM is what we say postgraduate uh, qualification and postgraduate diploma in professional marketing or you can do CIM marketing leadership program so uh, as I said in Sri Lanka they don't have CIM marketing leadership program few institutes are providing as I remember and only few institutes are providing uh, postgraduate also but when it comes to CIM marketing leadership program I am not well aware which institute is really providing so move, before we move on to the content two of this particular video, in content two I am going to explain what are the papers are elective modules and what are the papers are mandatory modules. Now uh, what papers you need to do and how it is divided and what components it is in paper and in component two of this particular video. So now before we move on to the video, let's explain you the entry requirements. Uh, if you want to start chartered uh, level 3 or you don't want to have any any relevant qualifications but level 4 if you want to start you need to pass your O levels and you need to have uh, I mean you need to have an English uh, B pass minimum in your advanced level exams that's where you can start your level 4 uh, or you need to do IELTS uh, 6 or 6.4 you should be able to score now if you are not taken that English particular thing uh, if you are done in, uh, I mean, if you are not done in your O levels English, you can opt into IELTS and start doing it and get that 6.5 average and get into this particular qualification. Now let's move on to the component two. So you can take a break or you can start moving on to this particular thing. And I'm going to explain you how CIM uh, qualification is actually broken into different pathways. So now let me start with the level three first of all. Foundation certificate in professional marketing has two components okay the first one we said as marketing principles it is an exam based uh, paper and the second thing we said as communication in practice that is the assessment by uh, assess assignment so if you do assignment uh, and the marketing principle you get this particular certificate called foundation certificate in professional marketing the second thing uh, I mean, I mean in level 3 you have the second uh, way of uh, qualification foundation certificate in professional digital marketing you have two uh, it is also divided into two components marketing principle again the same which you are doing in foundation certificate in professional marketing that particular paper you can do it under digital marketing also and then you will be doing an assignment assignment for digital fundamentals that's an elective model so if you choose uh, communication in practice you end up with professional marketing if you end up with digital fundamentals you will end up with professional digital marketer so that is the foundation certificate and then moving on to the level 4 uh, we have certificate in professional marketing and certificate in digital professional marketing now again uh, there are three things you, I mean three papers you need to do three uh, one is a yeah one is a paper other two are assignments so you need to do three uh, particular components out of four so I'm going to explain you how, how it how it happens on the first one uh, we said as applied marketing so you should do it's a mandatory thing either you take professional digital marketing or professional marketing you should do applied marketing as exam based paper and then planning campaign is an assessment you need to do planning campaign either in professional marketing or digital professional marketing and then professional digital marketing and then if you take customer insight you will become certificate in professional marketing but if you choose digital marketing techniques assessment you will be uh, finally completing certificate in professional digital marketing so my uh, you know it might take a lot of time for you to understand but you can see the pictures which is uh, appearing when I'm, I'm saying this this is for your understanding and go slowly I don't want to rush because I want you guys to learn this particular qualification properly before you invest in a proper qualification that's my intention so in level 6 you can see see diploma in professional marketing or you can take diploma in professional digital marketing or you can also take uh, diploma in sustainability so now uh, sustainability is not there in Sri Lanka so in abroad countries of course they have so you can choose your pathway if you are going to do sustainability or not 
which qualifications you gonna do you can choose uh, when it comes to diploma but in sri lanka they provide diploma in professional marketing and diploma in digital uh, professional digital marketing so i'm going to teach all these three diplomas and you can choose one of them the first one start with marketing and digital strategy a uh, paper which is a mandatory paper either if you are doing any diploma you should do this particular qualification it's mandatory and you can't uh, you can't skip it uh, and th th this is an assessment based there's no exam based questions in your level 6 so uh, from level 6 onwards everything is uh, mandatory i mean everything is assignment based not exam based so marketing and digital strategy is the first paper you can see here and that is mandatory and the second thing is innovation and marketing uh is a mandatory component for two particular qualifications if you are going to do diploma in professional marketing it's a mandatory innovation in marketing if you are going to do sustainability uh diploma then of course innovation in marketing becomes compulsory the the next thing uh you need to choose either three of this and with this your qualification actually changes if you take uh yeah if you are going to take a uh, resource management or managing brands you will end up with diploma in professional marketing so out of this resource management or managing brands you need to select one of the components so as i said marketing and digital uh, digital strategy mandatory innovation and marketing mandatory you can see here and also uh, resource manager management or managing brands one of these you should choose to complete your diploma in professional marketing if you are going to do diploma professional digital marketing marketing and digital strategy mandatory digital optimization uh becomes uh, mandatory and then along with that you will be doing a uh, digital customer experience all these are assignment based again and then the next last thing is the sustainability diploma if you are going to do that marketing and digital strategy mandatory you can see here and then innovation and marketing is also mandatory uh, you can see here and then finally sustainability uh, mandatory assignment so you need to do three components in level 6 to complete your diploma in professional marketing or diploma in professional digital marketing or sustainability management uh, sustainable diploma in sustainability then we move on to the level 7 uh, which is post graduate diploma in professional marketing or you can do cim marketing leadership program so you need to choose which program you want to take as i said in sri lanka we don't have cim marketing leadership program as far as i remember but if the institutes are providing that's really great and let's move on to level 7 post graduate diploma in professional marketing qualification so if you take post graduate diploma professional marketing qualification uh, it is divided into four uh, elective i mean four modules and you need to do three out of it global marketing decisions you can see here it's mandatory and then corporate digital communication is mandatory and then creating entrepreneurial change or sustainable transformation in global marketing becomes elective again as i said sustainability is not what our teachers are doing in sri lanka that particular module will be exempted so i mean they will not be doing so you will not have a chance to choose except this creative entrepreneurial change under post graduate diploma so they will not give you elective they will just make it mandatory for you to do and then if you take cim marketing leadership program you can see here uh, contemporary challenges is mandatory leading ch change is mandatory either you can take consultancy or managing business growth or sustainable transformation in marketing so out of these three you need to choose one again you need to do three modules uh, when it comes to cim marketing now when i say all these component there's something called total quality time how much time you should spend and how much uh, time the institutes will uh, teach you this particular qualification uh, when you are doing level 3 uh, any uh, type of module it can be any paper which i already said specifically they will spend 120 hours per module and if you take level 4 also 120 hours per module level 6 170 hours and level 7 170 hours this is a thorough research i have gone through i have been through uh, almost i have spent a lot of time in computer understanding about this qualification because we need to give correct information to our subscribers we can't uh, you know take them towards the wrong path and you are trusting me so i want to give the correct information for all Okay, so let's start with the next part. The cost of uh, CIM qualification tuition fee in Sri Lanka it won't cost you more than one hundred and fifty thousand for entire three stages. If you start with stage uh, one, which is the level four, level six, and level seven, without level three, I'm saying you will end up with one hundred and fifty thousand max. You know you will not go more than that. So because each stage they will not take more than thirty to forty thousand within twenty eight thousand to forty thousand is what institutes are charging based on the premium level of institute. The amount is. differ 
So uh, moving on to the point. So if you are going to do start with level three, you will be paying two hundred and sixty-five five pounds for the certificate. Uh, so if you are not going to do level three, you will be starting with level four. So I'll start with the level three itself. How much it will cost you to finish level three and uh, to complete it, and how much it will co cost you to do the entire qualification is what I'm going to say. So each whatever the qualifications you're going to do, you need to pay a sixty-five. Uh, pounds membership for that particular certificate. For example, if you are going to do level four, uh, you can see that as I said, level three is two hundred sixty-five pounds plus sixty-five pounds, so which will be two hundred seventy, three hundred thirty pounds to do the level three. Level four, uh, Sri Lankans are given a, a lower rate compared to the international rates because Sri Lanka is a country which has which is not highly developed, so it's a developing country, so the rates are a bit lower compared to the international countries. So level four international students who are watching this video, you need to pay four hundred ninety-five pounds plus sixty-five pounds. Again, Sri Lankans need to pay three hundred ninety pounds plus sixty-five pounds, which is going to be five hundred and fifty-five pounds most probably. So level six, if you are an international student, you will be spending spending five hundred seventy pounds. Whereas Sri Lankans will be spending five hundred and fifteen pounds, four hundred fifty pounds for the modules and sixty-five pounds for the registration. Level seven students, international students will be spending six hundred thirty pounds, and Sri Lankans will be paying five hundred ten pounds plus sixty-five. Now you you would have got an idea, okay? If you are going to start with level four, level six, and level seven for Sri Lankans, you will spend three, uh, I mean three four fifty-five. Plus five fifteen plus five hundred and sixty five. So it will cost you roughly almost thousand uh, five hundred to thousand seven hundred pounds around that. So it will if you just multiply with four hundred and see what might buy, what might be your exam cost. So your exam cost might be around six hundred to seven hundred thousand within the uh, amount of uh, you know currencies appreciate and depreciate. So based on that, your values might change. So roughly, say seven hundred thousand for your exam papers you need to spend if you're going to start with level four, level six, and level seven without failing the exams on one shot. So uh, and I have included the membership fee also for all the particular levels of exam. Based on that, you can decide. One hundred and fifty thousand for your class tuitions. So it will cost you around eight hundred and fifty nine hundred thousand maximum. You spend when you are learning CIM qualification. So now moving on to the next component. Component four. We are going to speak about what job opportunities you get by learning each uh, each and every certificates. When you are learning a qualification, you need to know how much each and every qualification pays you. So the first uh, set foundation certificates will give you jobs like marketing assistance, promotional assistant, marketing campaign assistant, social media assistant, and also content marketing assistant. So these are the five level of. Uh, I mean, these are five level of uh, jobs I have given. But there might be different uh, levels of jobs. But these are the initial uh, thing you can get uh, on the job job market. Because when you done your certificate, you need to put a name behind your positions when you apply. Then of course you can apply to these positions. So certificate, if you have completed level four, you can be a marketing executive, marketing officer, marketing communication executive, or communication specialist. If you have done your diploma, you can become a marketing manager, marketing and communication manager. Corporate communication manager, brand manager, brand development manager, so things like that you can work. And if you are completely a postgraduate, of course you can be the head of marketing, uh, senior marketing uh, head or senior marketing executive, head of strategic partnerships or head of development, brand manager, something like that you can be. Because postgraduate is not that easy to achieve, and once you achieve it, you are star. You will be recognized very soon. So, on part five, I'm going to speak about the membership uh, titles. Once you have completed your chartered completely, you can put uh, behind your name chartered marketer, or you can put C M capital K T R simple. So you can put C M K T R uh, as a title behind your name. So if you have completed level six or level seven, and you don't have Any experience, you can uh, take the membership name as A C I M Associate Chartered Institute, Chartered uh, Institute of Marketing. So then, if you take level six completed and you have three years and more experience, but you are not completed level seven, still you can get the A C I M uh, behind your name. And level seven, if you have completed and you have more than five years of experience, you can take member of Chartered Institute of Marketing. So M C I M. And then, if you have completed level six, and then you have seven years of experience without completing level seven, you still get MCIM. And then, if you have ten years of experience, you will be 
uh, in event management you have no uh, proper background of this particular qualification and you have a degree related to marketing or something still you can opt into this particular qualification and get mcim which is member of challenge for marketing and if you have 15 years of experience definitely you can go for fcim a uh, fellow membership of chartered institute of marketing so i explained the five components and if you like follow my channel so i'm going to give you the last thing the pay scale how much you get paid for uh, learning cim so moving on the first thing i went through certain uh, areas and i got these things uh, if you are a sri lankan you can start with 160000 as basic so by the time you finish your cim you will be a well qualified person and you can demand 160000 above in sri lanka don't go less than that because your job opportunities differ so when you start on the basics you, you can start with the certificate level you can go for a small company learn the stuff and 2 years or 3 years later or maybe 4 years later you can demand this particular salary if you have completed your cim if you are uh, in uk i went through uh, this particular guide hays salary guide so that is the salary guide we see when we are uh, about go to uk and start looking for a job students must know hays salary guide so i went through it and i understood that they pay 40 to 65000 pounds for a cim person so it depends on the experience you request more the experience you get paid more than that so moving on to the next part uh, glass do i went through with glass do to know the salary of uh, average salary of a salary of a person who is in usa so you get paid 8334 dollars a month and minimum this is the minimum amount say 100000 a year so this is the average amount you can get uh, every year so that's a good scale to start with and with with based on your experience you can even demand 35000 dollars a month but it differs with the experience again coming to the point i'm speaking about people who have completed 3 years maybe 2 years and completed cm that's what i'm trying to explain you and if you are going for middle east with 3 years of experience and you have completed cim demand saudi uh, if you are going for saudi you can de demand 12000 riyals if you are going for uae you can demand 15000 above dirham so these are a ba basic pay scale which i have done and if you guys like this video and the time i have taken to research this took a lot of time more than 3 or more than a week uh, i was reviewing these things because i need to be very specific on the information i'm giving these all are facts and also the brochure of this particular qualification is attached below on this description download it if you have doubts comment it i will always explain you and see you guys with a lovely video next time with a career guidance pathway very soon as possible and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you commerce smack